Well, good day again. Okay, just thought sort I'd of show you a little update. You know, I know that time lapse and edit and everything. I do one tape videos and that's all I've got time for, basically. Anyway, um, you know, so, you know, I'm not going to you know, set the camera up and do, you know, time lapse of the whole pro process. So I'll just do a few updates and show you where I'm up to and a bit of the process I'm doing. As you can see, I've put, well, firstly, I... Yeah, put the, put the um, we'll mark where the, the top of it is, put in the vice, squash it down a bit, put some cuts in it, use the shifter to yeah, pull the sides out a bit, so we're sort of getting somewhere near the shape. Yeah, cut it off to length. Well, that's just sitting there. It's, yeah, it's just loose at the moment. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'll also be taking it off. And uh, don't know about the bottom whether I will or not. Anyway, I probably will. But yeah, I'm going to cut. Yeah, cut this corner out. Cut a V in this corner, about a half inch, and uh, close them in a little bit as well. And uh, yeah, and I'll uh, when I'm filling those in. Like normally I would just yeah, just get the welder and just start start in the corner and just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and fill it in. But uh you don't want to get any pinholes in it. You know, and there's a bit of stop starting in doing the process like that. Like I'll be taking it off the engine and doing it and then the voice, but yeah, I've got an old brass tap. And I'm gonna I'm, yeah, you know, fit the brass up inside there and so and just I'll clamp it, wedge it, something like that underneath. And that'll sort of keep you know, the piece of brass is rounded so it'll keep a bit of a round profile. And uh, so then I should be able to just do a continuous weld and not getting pinholes in it. And uh yeah, and I'll do all that. I'll fill all these in. I'll fill these in, get it all meeting up um, before I weld the two together and that way I can get inside with the die grinder and take off any dags or, yeah. I mean, yeah, a little bit of um, turbulence is probably good at this part but you don't want too much, especially don't want any down this end. You want a smooth, smooth flow down when it gets down towards the heads. And, uh, yeah, so when I've got all these welded up and ready to fit, um, I will also then, I'm going to put a sleeve on it. As I said, I don't know if it really matters because the, uh, you know, just the radiator hose itself, like there'll be two inches of radiator hose going on that. That in itself should hold it yeah, in place pretty well, but, yeah, I think I will. I'm just going to cut a bit of sheet metal, I think. Yeah, probably only half inch wide. And uh, yeah, just wrap it round, make it, make it very thin outer sleeve. Yeah. Like it's got to be thin because of, you know, you've got to be able to get the radiator hose over the top of it. So. And, uh, but yeah, I'll have all that fitted also before I weld it on. Yeah, now that I've cut these other pieces off. Uh, and I took a little mill, that's the brace that I made. Also, that's the original bracing point of the, of the manifold. And uh, yeah, I welded that in place and I had a hell of a time getting it off because it was sort of hanging down a bit too far and I ended up having to actually unbolt the oil filter, filler, and the generator holder to, to get the thing off. That's when it was still, you know, the one piece with the tubes. But, uh, yeah, it does go in quite easily in here, yeah. Right, with the, uh, with the heat tubes bolted to it permanent. And, uh, yeah, it comes on and off quite easy now, so. But, uh, yeah, what else is I was going to say something else. 
Got sidetracked. Yeah, anyway, can't matter too much. <laughs> All right, so yeah, just just a quick one, and we'll I'll get one up. I'll get one side finished, this side finished, and bowl it up, and I'll, I'll do another update and show you, and then I'll continue with the other one, and uh, and the next video after that should be finished, back in the car and running. So hopefully this is the last model. Hopefully it actually works properly with no vacuum leaks. So, uh, yeah, oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, just these heater tubes, the heater tubes, and the one mount. It's plenty secured. That yeah, that's not going to move. You know, that's rocking the whole engine there. That's yeah, that's plenty solid. So it's going to be quite sufficient. I will, the other thing I do need to check, like it should still be in the exact same place it was in, but before I go welding anything together too, I'm going to put the fan back on, put the carby back on, make sure I've got clearance, because it is, yeah, the carby is, is quite close to the to the fan, there's not a lot of clearance, so, yeah, before I go welding it all together, I'll be checking that I've still got clearance on the carby and everything. Uh, all right. I'll leave it at that, and if you're interested, stay tuned, um, there'll be another one. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.